Welcome to my channel, The King Lee Way. My name is King, and today I'm going to do a little special mukbang. I pretty much, you know, have my own food at home. Now, I didn't cook everything. I just cooked the dumplings and microwaved the noodles. And, you know, the rice and kimchi kind of cooked themselves. Actually, my mother cooked it when I was doing, when I was away. So, I'm going to introduce what foods I have. Okay, I have noodles and then I have like a little egg omelet here. I have lots of dumplings from the company Bibigo, which is from Korea. So I like to cook my fried dumplings. And I still got the uh, ranch sauce from uh, Jack in the Box. And brown rice. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to, you know, bash on the Philippines because they love their white rice to the extent of like craziness but I always like to change up my rice now I do like white rice I just don't like that unlimited <laughs> and kimchi yes so that's the thing but yeah that's something if you go to the Philippines oh man they love their white rice so sometimes I go no they want to give me like a whole plate of white rice I'm like no <laughs> please don't if it's brown rice and yeah I'll eat it <laughs> or mashed potatoes so I usually get a substitute because uh one of the youtubers you know couple of the youtubers yeah we talk about this stuff uh what is it there's one guy that I've hung out with my buddy Gio in the Philippines yeah he's like like no no we're not eating tons of that white rice we're gonna eat some brown rice or Give me a substitute. And same thing with Ricky, Life Beyond the Seas. Yeah, we try to avoid the white rice. And when I usually go to like Landers or Metro in, you know, the Philippines, I usually buy either the brown or black rice. Or sometimes I'll buy a mixture, you know, so I can change it up all the time. Instead of everywhere where we go get barbecue, there's white rice. <laughs> so if there's an other option for rice, I would pay a little more for it. All right, let's go to town on this. So here's some little noodles, vegetable noodles. Yeah, I had a, there's a like special instruction on how to microwave this. So I'm gonna take a shot at this. Hmm, not too bad, hmm. Must have some kimchi. Hmm, and, yep, use my spoon to dig into the rice. Yeah, take a look at this rice. Yeah, brown has some special beans in it. Hmm. Hmm. Not too bad. Now there's some dumplings. I like I like it crispy. Yeah, I'm weird. I'm gonna put in my buttermilk. Hmm. I love these things. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm. Oh yeah. Like I have a bowl of rice here, right? <clears throat> it's com it's common kongi bap, you know, in Korean. That's the rice, and it's actually white rice. So, but one thing you never, 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 never do: don't ever stick your chopsticks into the rice it is just it's like disrespecting your ancestors you know so that's a don't do that's korean culture lesson time or when it's a korean lesson time there's these guy these youtubers in korea named we fancy and this guy named happy who is like a chinese american or hong kong from canada he goes korean lesson time <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so yeah, usually you could use a spoon. Well, I'm gonna get some chopsticks. There you go. Brown rice. Mmm. 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 Yeah, I love these noodles. Mmm. Mmm.
Mm. Now, tea. I drink a lot of liquids. Now, usually in Korea, you're not supposed to drink water with the food. You know, I just couldn't get into. I just need a tons of water. I need tons of liquids. That's just me. To you know, down the food. <laughs> So yeah, hmm, yeah. Oh man, hmm. Mhm. Hmm. Hmm, it's a little egg. Oh, yeah. Yep, a little crazy here. Oh, love these dumplings. BB go. <laughs> yep, that's a company as a commercial. I forgot how it goes. I have a little theme. Yeah, something good, something good. BB go. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, this tastes really good. Hmm. I should be. Yeah, this is all I might need to eat today. No. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, part of me can't wait when I go back to Korea. I gotta go do some tours. Things do taste nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. This stuff is good. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, when I do make that trip back in uh, the summer to the Philippines, might make a, another stop at Dumaguete. <laughs> so yeah, and I like going. I like to do a mukbang at San Rival. I haven't had a chance to. I'm always meeting people there. <laughs> But I love that restaurant. I probably mentioned this guy before. 
He's a retired fella named uh, Bud Brown. He has a channel called Bud Brown Live. And he always likes going to San Rival, his meeting place. So my goal is to get back to the Philippines in the summer and, you know, drop in Dumaguete for a week and meet up with it. Plus, I want to see his new new motorcycle carriage because, you know, he, he, uh, he bought this little motorcycle van type vehicle to make it easy for his wife Gloria to get in and out so it made it much easier so that's what that's where I figured why he got it after watching this video so yeah I like to see that nice new vehicle he got <laughs> so yeah it, it, yeah he has an interesting story you know so I, I might have mentioned in my other videos. Yeah, his his story became news in the Philippines uh, because it is a love story. He's been with his wife for almost what since 1971, over 45, 40 plus years when he met her in the Philippines. So they actually did like a television show about him and. <laughs> They had actors playing the young Bud and young Gloria and how they met. So, so if I could find that, I'll probably link it down below my uh, video here. So I need to look for it and then put the link there. I hope I, yeah, it's interesting. Of course, it is mostly, it half in, is in English, half is in Tagalog. Because actually, Bud could speak Tagalog. <laughs> yeah. So it cracks me up. And he speaks some Spanish too, so you know. <laughs> yeah, so this channel's fun to watch, you know. Even if, you know, he's a retired fella. But it but even, you know, for someone as young as myself, I actually enjoyed watching his videos at times. And plus, yeah, I, lo I love meeting some of the YouTubers that live out in the Philippines. Almost every YouTuber so far that I have got together and met have been really cool, you know. You know, not one of them, like, blew me off or said, uh, who, you know, I'm bigger than you, I'm better than you. They've been down to earth, and, you know, those are the ones I like to hang out and reach out to, you know. So, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I'll do my best to finish this. <laughs> Probably don't have to eat the rest of the day. Hmm. 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 Oh yeah. Love it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hopefully I can make it. <laughs> hmm. Oh, he's doing pretty good. Ah, man. Yep. 
So I'll see where I can go here. Yeah. Still got the rice is still warm there. Now that's a good sign. Yeah, BB go dumplings. And another thought I have is drop in the seafood city. So it's funny, I asked that question to the a lot of Filipinos in, you know, when I was in Cebu. Do any of you heard of Seafood City? <laughs> half of them did, half of them didn't. And then half of them didn't believe that there's a seafood city or or certain things Filipino in the you know the Los Angeles area. So yeah. They didn't believe me, but I was like, yeah. So that's definitely excuse me. And actually like most of the first wave of Filipinos came towards Northern California. So I was watching a YouTube documentary about that. That one whole street was just mostly uh, Filipinos. And then this morning I was talking to my girlfriend about, yeah, you know, Central California. You know, like, you know, Bakersfield, Visalia, Tulare, Hanford, you know, back in the 60s, uh, Cesar Chavez and the United Farm Workers, you know, did the same thing as Martin Luther King Gandhi protested about the wages and the unsafe, you know, not safe working conditions in the farms. So for the laborers. And, uh, you know, a good amount of Filipinos were involved in that march with Cesar Chavez. And, and for those that, that, you know, to follow Philippines in California, there's a city called Delano. Yeah, a lot of Filipinos reside in Delano. Plus, you know, Delano, just like almost every central California town, there is a prison in almost every one of them. Oh, and then, of course, uh, there's McFarland. If you ever seen that movie McFarland, based on the track team, the Disney production movie, yeah. So, you know, there's a prison right there next to the schools at McFarland. So, yeah. So, yeah, there's some history with Central California. And, of course, like, if you read the story, Grapes of Wrath, John Steinbeck, you know, has some places take place in Central California. So yeah. So yeah. Mmm. 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 Nope, going through the liquids. But yeah. But it's left. One thing, yeah, right now when I do this stuff, I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, I get to enjoy myself here. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm already feeling it after a couple weeks. I want to go back. Don't want to stay in America, but I have to to stay here for another. I don't know. I'm on day 14, so I even put on the calendar what day I depart from the United States. So I'm on day 14 now, or 15 as of today. So day 93 is when I go back to Korea. But yeah, that thing will probably go quick. So. Do my best to enjoy whatever I can. So, yeah, I'm kind of waiting for uh, baseball season to start, and of course, I won't do any go to any night games for the Dodgers. I'll probably go to a lot of day games. So I'll go to day games on mostly Sundays. Hopefully, I can do something from Dodger Stadium without them hassling me. 
So hopefully like if I do a mukbang from Dodger Stadium. I did one before. But hopefully I can have a better audio and no one's going to say anything. So we'll see. But I know they won't let me bring my gimbal in there to make me put it back. So, yeah. Yeah, I would have loved to do a Dodger Stadium tour. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And I'm an easy day today. I just gotta go to work for 2 30. My job shouldn't take me long to do. It might take me only 30 to 40 minutes. It's down the street. <laughs> Kinda nice, huh? So, yeah. Mm hmm. Missing that tropical weather. I know I'm in California. Well, the good thing about California, the air is so clean. It's sky blue. And even China lately, it's been sky blue because nobody's going out. You know, people are just staying in and my students are, most of them are just still staying in. When I, you know, talk to them online, I'm like, Please tell me you went outside and did something. They're like, nope. I said, I got more homework. And then they go, okay, when you're done with your homework, my mom gives me more homework. I'm just sitting here like, okay. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> uh, another funny thing is, um, since, you know, I do the online teaching thing. And this one female, older female... A Caucasian female from our group, well, from the teaching group. She like broke down and cried because the kids were like, you know, dealing with the coronavirus. And the funny thing that happened is that thing went viral all over China, and they were just mocking her. <laughs> it was it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, so. Some of the students were sending it to my fellow teachers. They're like, yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, that one teacher in our company went viral. <laughs> it was crazy. You know, a lot of times there's fear. And a lot of the fear is the fear of the unknown, you know. Because, you know, I've actually lived out in Asia. I actually know what's going on. So, you know, I do have some sort of clue. I don't know everything. I You never know everything. But I've experienced what's going on there. I've been to China. I lived in Korea the past four or five years and been coming back and forth. I lived in the Philippines for a total of five months from, you know, last summer to now. And I even lived in Thailand a couple months. So, yeah, I want to still check out more countries, especially in Southeast Asia. Because right now, that's affordable for me <laughs> to go there. So, yeah, I want to check those things out. And see how it is. So, pretty awesome. Hmm. Mm-hmm.
Looks like I might have some leftovers, but. Mm hmm. I'll just put this in my little rice dish. Hmm. Mm hmm. Try to finish these noodles up. in my bowl. Mm. So yeah, I finished about majority of this food. I had fun eating this. So yeah. So yeah, just another day here. So I still haven't had a chance to go out, you know, because I go to my job, I come back, I have things I have to do, you know, trying to do a lot of things here so yeah and so if any of you enjoy any of this content please like and subscribe to my channel and for those I want to say to have subscribed to my channel thank you for joining me in this journey and following me around so wherever you are I want to wish everyone a good day bye <laughs>